I, Judy from Witch Peacecraft, welcome to today's video, the week that was. Yes, I'm a day late, um, but I'll talk about what I was up to last week because in my last video I was having two days off work and hoping to visit some craft shops on the Tablelands, which I did. So, let's get started. Thursday we headed up to Mariba. Uh, we were going up to the Tableland for family business, but plenty of time to stop off. My favourite news agency that stocks a nice range of crochet magazines had April's Crochet World. Um, I won't go through it, it's probably a bit old for you guys, but I was excited to see it. Disappointed that Crochet Now is not there yet. It'll probably be on the stands this week, about the 15th of the month. Yes, they take the hard copies take a while to get to Australia. However, Crochet World last year was costing me about $17.95 and the Australian dollar is doing really well because the exchange rate brings the magazine down to $15.25 and there are not a nice little patterns in there I'm going to have a look at, but I got Crochet World. And across the road was the new craft shop that's opened up up there. Um, it is called Creative Nook, K with Creative and Nook with a K. Your one-stop craft shop for fabric, wool, needles, pins, buttons, lace, clay, dyes, balsa, paints and so much more. Um, she actually does sell Janome sewing machines as well and I had a nice chat to her and I managed to do a very short video of the yarn section which I will put at the end of this video. So did I buy anything? Well of course. I spoilt my Scorched Earth Challenge by using my stash yarn bought for no particular projects because I bought two types of yarn with no particular project in mind. So I'll share that with you. First of all, I bought... Now she stocks mainly Panda Yarn, which is the Australian yarn company, and it comes up from Victoria. So I stopped. I bought Magnum Tweed 8-ply. It's like a cream with a candy fleck. Eight ply is three weight or DK. And there is no colour on this. They just use colour numbers in Australia, which is a bit disappointing. And it is 97% acrylic, 3% viscose, 271 metres per ball. It's too late for me to work out what the yardage is. Because it's Monday, 13th of May late in the evening the other yarn I bought is and I've had this before heirloom dazzle in this color I bought it because I love it it's an eight ply yarn I just love this color I've had it in pink before but I actually think this one is softer than the pink I had now there are it's 100% acrylic and there are Oh, it says imported and distributed by Heirloom Yarns, which is Australian. It doesn't say where it's imported from or where it's made. But there are 310 metres per ball, and I bought two of those with no project in mind. So that was Mariba's Yarn Shopping. Um, we headed up further up the road because that's where our family business was, and we stopped in Melanda, which is, is about three quarters of an hour half an hour away from Mariba, I don't know, not far. And there's a craft shop there that opens on Thursdays. It's the big room of the house, ladies house I've told you about before. And I bought the yarn there last year and I stopped in to say hello and see what she had. And yes, I bought yarn, but this yarn is earmarked for projects. So it's called Cross Stitch and Quilting Corner. Um, I didn't take video, they were quite busy and they had a lot of pallets to unpack because a lot of stock had arrived on a truck. But she gave me her pamphlet. Look, this is huge, this place. She has the most amazing stock of fabrics. I'm not a sewer, but if I was, this is the place I would go. And she does stock a variety of yarns. She does have Karen um, yarn. She has quite a few varieties of different brands of yarn and at good prices. So I bought, now this is Karuchi, I think, Olympus double knitting yarn from New Zealand. 100% acrylic, 
of course it's an eight ply for me no color number but that is the color and that is earmarked for a project so yes i actually bought one balls of yarn in different colors so this is the panda yes she stocks panda too arrow craft striped eight ply this is the cheapest one in their range still really soft and i needed that color combo for a project i only need one ball and i needed a really nice light gray so i bought the panda standard magnum eight ply in the light gray these balls are 271 meters and they're all 100 percent acrylic now what i did discover there is she stocks crochet and more hook crochet hooks the whole size range and they were incredibly inexpensive nine dollars fifty a hook now when i get them down here they cost me close to fifteen dollars so yes i did buy a four millimeter hook and gave it to a friend as a gift um, and a more hook for them to try and i probably will go back and buy more hooks because the other thing she's doing is you can go to the shop by appointment so if you're in the area you can ring up give them half an hour and you can have an appointment to shop in the shop by yourself with an attendant that's awesome because it's not always um, easy for me to go off on a Thursday so that was my trip to Melanda um, along with other stuff we did the next day Friday um, we went to Innisfail, which is about an hour and a half south of Cairns, a town. And I went there because they have two quite decent sized, well-stocked antique shops. And I do like to do antiquing and having a look. And when we passed it, when we went to Townsville for a holiday and we were coming back, it was pouring with rain and everything was closed. And this was a beautiful sunny day and ideal to go to Innisfail and visit the antique shops. One of them is so big, I could have spent the day in there. And the lady was lovely. She did say, oh, I've got vintage um, tea cosy pattern when we got talking. And when she showed it to me, I said, I've actually got that one. And she went, oh, no, I thought I was going to sell you something you didn't have. I did buy something from there, but they're a gift for a friend. So I'm not going to share that with you. She also mentioned, because I didn't know about the other one, which is, about 10 minutes down the road in a place called Marillion, which is south of Innisfail, at a little antique shop. So we went there and I had lots of stuff, lots of stuff outside for the guys and their men's shed, but lovely stuff inside and the lady was really nice. But she came looking at thing really funny and then she said, did you go to such and such a school? And he went, no, I went to school in WA. And she kept looking and I know your face. And then he said where he worked for 40 years and apparently they worked together and she told him her maiden name and he went oh yeah I remember you and they got talking and talking and I thought he was never going to stop for someone who hardly ever talks to people very much he was da -da 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 -da. so it was nice for them to catch up and yes we definitely will go back I did buy something from there but it's another little gift for a friend and until they get it, I don't really want to share it with people. Um, but nice little antiques, crafty type gifts that represent some of the craft they do. And antiques, so they're unusual. I love antiquing. It's fun. And the other thing we did in Edensvale is they had a big charity shop or Goodwill store or thrift store, whatever you want to call it. And before we left, um, I asked them to stop so I could have a look. And they had a huge amount of yarn in the craft shop. Now, I donate yarn to different charities that want it, especially if it's acrylic and that's what they want. I got this bag of yarn for 20 bucks. Now, they are individually wrapped. It's mostly Marvel 8 Ply, which is the Four Season brand from Spotlight. And this is the yarn I'm using in my birthstone make-along blanket. I have all the colours, but look how they wrapped them. So for 20 bucks, I got all these different colours. I'm going to pair them up and give some away to charity. 
um, charities who want them and will use them. I just thought that was too good a bargain to miss. I would have bought more, but things said we didn't have a trailer to bring it all home. So that was something I bought at the charity shop. I also found in the packet, unopened, a Susan Bates knitting tool. It has a hook and a point at one hand at each end. This is ideal if you knit cable and I only have one and sometimes I curse I need another one. This unopened in the packet was 25 cents. I've got hiccups. I also found a Sullivan's bamboo crochet hook 4mm which is ideal for 8 ply. I'm going to put that with the charity yarn and donate that to a group who are making certain things and need equipment plus yarn. I thought 25 cents in the original packet, too good to resist. And then I found in my favourite colour orange, well it's more tangerine but I don't mind the colour, with all its labels on, never used, brand new, three little crafty drawers, all working order. You push down on that, open up. And this is for me. And this was five bucks. That is a bargain. Brand new, unused. And I found that at a charity shop. Guys, do you go to charity shops and thrift shops or Goodwill stores and look for bargains? And if you have, leave a comment below and tell me what's the best bargain you've ever found in one of these places and how much you cherish it. Um, so what else was there? I did that. We had lunch and not, we actually had, and this is something we don't rarely have, fish and chips down by the water. Uh, it was a beautiful sunny day, not too hot. Beautiful um, coastline to look at and had fish and chips. And then thing drove home and I, of course, I slept. It's a good job he likes driving. I slept all the way back. The Spotlight yarn, this yarn that I got, is normally about $4 a ball, full price at Spotlight. So to buy a bag that big, like this, with different balls of yarn in it for 20 bucks, was a bargain. Um, what else is it? That's, that was about it for my um, two days off. What it did do, and it's making me realise I am getting old, because Thursday was my birthday, so thank you to all those people who sent me warm wishes, blessings. It was lovely to receive. I had a visit from a crafty friend at the office today. Um, we caught up and she called in after her work and she gave me a gift. I want to share it with you because if you've been subscribed for a while, you'll know how much I love polar bears. So it's a utility jar. You can either put cotton buds or mints, whatever you want in it. But it has a polar bear on ice on top. I was so thoughtful of Ulia to give me that. And yeah, I really love it. My road trip project. I can't crochet a lot. I get a bit car sick if I keep my head down too long. But I did start making poppies. Lots. I think I made about 10 poppies. The plan is to make, I've got to do the ends, make 10, uh, make a poppy a day for the month of May and then I will donate these two cans poppy on, which my friend is part of for their poppy displays. And this is part of Dana Wonderlust Cro uh, Crochet, promoting fibre arts for May, make a flower, make poppies for Veterans Day or anything and give them to people or donate them. And I thought I would make poppies to go towards the displays that Ulia does at Cairns Poppy on, um, which it's really a nice idea and it was an easy project. I could do a poppy and rest, and put my head up and not get too car sick. So I made a few on the trip down and around, um, on the way down to Innisfail and on the way back. I didn't do anything Thursday. I think I was just relaxing, enjoying the scenery. And we had a lot to do family-wise up on the tablelands and I was probably excited about that. And that hopefully will all come together in the first week of June and I will share that with you as long as everything works out. 
So yes, I mentioned Thursday was my birthday. I spoke to my son in London. Um, and it's very close to Mother's Day, so we do the Mother's Day call. And um, yeah, my youngest son, he surprised me with a laminator because I've said I want a laminator for the crafting stuff that I do. And we don't have one at work, so and occasionally I need one at work. So yeah, he bought me a laminator. Thing bought me the cookbook that I wanted. Um, it's huge. It's a weighty tomb. It's by an Australian lady on the ABC Breakfast, Alice Allison. But the reason I like it, it's about vegetables. It, it, when you get to my age, you just rack your brain every night what you're going to do with the vegetables. And I should have brought it in to show you. The re it's, it, it's in colours. So all the white vegetables are under white. All the orange vegetables are under orange. So if I go to the um, fridge and there is pumpkin, orange pumpkin or squash as you guys may call it, I can look up the orange vegetable section and find out, find a great recipe to enhance the vegetables. Because I'd like us to eat more vegetables, not necessarily become vegetarian, but I would like to increase our vegetable intake. Mother's Day, I did very little. I did not do the markets. That's when I said I was getting old. The two days of all the walking we did, all the driving and going around and doing different things, I was exhausted. I just didn't want to move off the couch. However, I did do the Paint My Plant Pot Challenge. I'll show you a bit of video on my painted plant pots. I channeled my Jackson Pollock child. I'm not very artistic, but they look okay. And I don't care what's in my garden or how, on my patio. It's always a talking point. But I'll show you those that video. I'll put it at the end. And um, Reeves, my son, really surprised me. Thing and I have quite an extensive vinyl record collection. Now, if you're too young to know what vinyl records are, I suggest you Google it. But yes, and I am a big fan of Pink. I've talked about it before. I love her lyrics, her poetry in her songs, everything about her. And I had mentioned that it would be really great to have a record or a vinyl record of Pink. I didn't even know if you could get them. Well, Mother's Day, Reeves surprised me with Pink on vinyl. I do have this album on CD, but I now have her on vinyl. And yes, we do have a turntable to play the albums on. Um, maybe I'll share that with you next year. I've had an idea rolling around in my head. So I'll just check my notes, see if I've missed anything. We didn't spend a lot on each other's birthday thing and I, because the thing we're planning that will come to fruition in June is expensive. And we decided we'd buy one combined present for both of us. Um, there's not a lot more I can say. Other than the poppies, I don't have finished projects to show you because I've been working on a lot of whips that I need some of them to be finished by the 21st of May. And that is for a reason. And some of them by the end of May. And I've just been working on those and I keep doing a bit on one and putting it down and doing a bit on this one. I need to have a clearer plan this week because I am quite busy at work. So guys, thank you for stopping by and watching the video. Um, take care, stay safe and maybe you should have a crafty day visiting a charity shop. You never know what you might find. Bye for now. Yeah, I'll have a look. Wow. This is Marie with a new craft store. And how long she's been here. Sells sewing machines. And for me, sorry, a bit quick then, guys. Panda and Peyton's yarn. Look at that. Isn't that nice? It's just a small shop, but it's really lovely. And it was nice of the lady to let me take a bit of video. Hi, this is me expressing myself in art. I've unleashed my G 
Jackson Pollock creative child and this is how I've spent my Mother's Day Sunday morning. I've used sponges, paintbrushes, you name it. Yes, it does look like a child's had a good time. Happy Mother's Day everyone.